Hey everybody, my name is Lean Rath, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Had a little bit of a tar problem to take care of there. But anyway, like we left off in the last episode, I'm gonna head over to the moss the, the moss ravine. The, the moss blanket, that's what it's called. Moss blanket. I'm gonna head back over to that area. I'm gonna try to collect some slimes, some plorts. I don't think that Gordo does anything as far as like slime keys go. Because my next like long, my next progression goal is going to be uh, getting into the the indigo quarry. So we need another slime key. I just don't remember where the Gordo is for that one. I might have to look it up just because I know there's a ton of Gordos. There's a lot that don't give you keys, but they give you other things. Um, here, have some key berries. I'd rather have some some lava plorts, boom plorts. Oh, I'm all filled up on pogo fruit. Okay. Here, let's see. Oh no! Boom. Okay. What do... What do... Boom slimes eat? They eat chickens, don't they? I think they do. Here, where's a boom slime? Because I've got these elder hens that are past their prime. Oh, there's a Largo up there. I can feed him what I can feed that whatever the hell. No, don't! Man. Are you happy now? Are you happy with what you did to this elder hen? Poor guy. He's already towards the end of his days and you're trying to shorten him by giving him a little her <laughs> by giving her a little chicky heart attack. Um Damn it. Where's that boom largo? It's like up this way but on the other side. Ton of fruit to be had. Uh, those guys probably aren't gonna give me plorts. Uh, are you guys hungry? Oh! Damn! Are you hungry? Whoa! One of them ate it. Oh, does that. Does that calm them down? Do they go not feral if you feed them? Because that guy down there is happy now. And so is that one. Oh, that's all you have to do. You just gotta give them food. They're just hungry. Cool. Hey, stop eating me, please. I'll give you food, just stop being a doucher. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Just chill out. I'll get along. Where are your plorts at? Here. You hungry too? Oh! I popped him in the mouth. He's not gonna like that. There we go. Hey, you look goofy. Honeycomb forehead. Um. Hmm. Oh, oh, what are you? What are you? A hunter slime. Oh, this is this is one of the new guys. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Get get in my gun. I want to make you a home. I want to make you a home, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm also going to suck up all of these honey, honey ports. 
Anyone else got honey ports? Ports of the honey variety? That might be it. Oh, there we go. I hear you guys eating, so where are the ports? I maxed out on pink ports, so that doesn't do anything for me. Alright, whatever, that'll do it. So I've got a couple of hunter slimes, which look fucking adorable. Go ahead and make. What the hell was that? What are those? No, what's what's that? Is that a mint mango? I bet that's probably what it is. I can't really afford to drop anything, but I want to say it's a safe assumption that those are mint mangoes. should be plenty to uh, start up some hunter slime corrals. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's make it over in this corner here. By the walls. Do these guys do anything funky like fly? Aww. <gasps> they go invisible! Holy, that's so cool. I just want to like sit here and watch these guys. That's so cool. Okay. Um, they seem like the crafty type. I'm going to go ahead and get a an air net just in case. What do these guys eat? Slimepedia. Hunter slime. Favorite is Roostro. Oh, good thing I have a ton of those. Uh, only eats meat. Hunter Slime is the wild cousin of the Tabby Slime, a much more capable creature than the playful Tabbies. The Hunter Slime excels at stalking the chickens of the far, far range. Hunter Slime's slimeological makeup allows for a natural cloaking ability that renders it almost completely invisible. Their only tell is their giant almond eyes, which can often be seen hovering in the dark. This effect is often described at, by unsuspecting ranchers as ah! Rancher risks. A hunter's slime has keen senses and can detect its prey from great distances. This makes finding a good location for their corrals challenging. Oh shit. Additionally, the wild nature of the hunter is also passed on to any Largos form Largos formed from its ports? Formed from its ports? Uh, something about that doesn't seem right. A newly created hunter Largo will always be feral. Oh shit. A prepared rancher knows that breeding hunter largos should always be done slowly with a few chickens on hand to calm them down. Amazingly, a serum can be made from hunter slime plorts that can actually render a person invisible. The effect only lasts for about a day, but the serum is nonetheless incredibly popular back on Earth as many people find its effects very soothing. Sometimes you feel like you just want to disappear for a while, but then about a day goes by and you realize that not only did you miss being seen, but others miss seeing you too. Aww, that's cute. See, that's what I mean. This game is super, super sweet and chill. So, it's a good thing I put the air net on there because they're probably already since my ton of chickens over here. Unless someone broke out and ate them all. No, we're good. Here. Since I've got a large rooster surplus, I'm going to go feed these guys and see if I can't, uh... You're not... You're not fooling anybody. Here, let, let's see how how awesome of hunters they are. Damn! That rooster didn't last very long at all. Hey, look at that. There's a rooster over here. It's making a lot of noise. Oh! Is he going for it? Damn! Chomped on. You guys still hungry? It's fun to watch. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Roostra, buddy. <laughs> you're you're part of the food chain now. Oh! What? Are you gonna eat him or not? Because you're being kind of mean right now. This poor Roostra is like, 
My life sucks. These guys aren't even eating me. They're just playing with me. All right. Well, I guess they're full. Rooster Bro gets to live another day. How much do these plorts go for? I assume this is... Is that 49? Yeah. So those are worth a decent chunk. Here you go, make some more roostros because those hunter slimes are freaking awesome. Mint mango, roostros. I can't even get to rad slimes yet, so that really doesn't do anything for me. Um. So let's see, what's up next on the list? Got some cool hunter slimes. I don't know. Like, is it worth breeding these into into Largos? If they start out feral, I don't want them messing me up, and I don't want them busting down the gates either. Uh, whatever. We'll go explore for a little bit. I still got to figure out where the uh, where the other slime key Gordo is. I might have to break down and look it up after this episode. Needs to be a teleporter back to the moss blanket. Having to run back all the time is kind of not great. Whoa! What the hell happened out there? There's like a firework in the middle of. Whoa! Kinda need some. Kinda want to make a corral for tabby, tabby slimes too. There's food right here. Chill out. There's food. Why are you underneath me? You guys suck. I'm getting out of here. Like there's food right underneath them, and they're like, "Oh no, I'm not really hungry so much as I just want to ruin you." Plorts over there. I'll take some plorts. Free plorts are the second best kind of plorts. The first best plorts being uh, gold slime plorts. I haven't ran into any gold slimes yet. Where did that? Oh, it's over here. Okay. I'm like, I know I didn't pick that up. I didn't have room for it. What are you doing up there, bro? Why don't you come down here? I don't know how to get up there. This guy's just holding like pogo fruit in his mouth. He's not eating it. He's just. You're being ridiculous. Oh, that was sweet. I just want to hug you and take you home. You're cute. Big old tabby Largo. Alright, well I could play with kitty cats all day, but we got, we got business to do. Slimes are even chill about you throwing them all over the place. Give me your goodies. No! Whatever, he seems happy about it. It's up this way. It seems like this is roughly around where I was last time. Briar hens in case I come across some more boom god damn it some more boomers what what I'm like stuck on the wall 
There we go. What? Why am I stuck over here now? Damn. It's uh, a little janky. Uh-oh. Someone messed up. Nope. I'm running by. You'll never catch me. Not on your life, coppers. Oh, I don't have enough room for... Um, enough room for the honey slimes. Or the honey ports. Yeah, there aren't that many honey ports. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Are you briar hens? No. Here, give me your delectable port of miss. Whoa. Okay, I guess that works too. Um. All filled up on that. Why are there not more boom slime? Oh, hey, here we go. Are you guys briars? Oh, you are. Except now I don't have room, so it doesn't really matter. Here, give me your goodies. Eh? Got it. I think those guys probably already ate their fill. Um, so far to go from here. I guess we'll go back and cash in these plorts. Oh yeah, there's that area past the overgrowth I'm into explore too. We'll do that real quick before the end of the episode. Maybe that's where the next slime key gordo is. 939. Do I still have hens? Okay, great. So my uh my hunters haven't busted out yet. What are you doing? Uh oh. They're on the move. What, you guys aren't hungry yet? They're they're prime roosters right here. Not gonna do anything about it. Oh They got nommed on. Alright, perfect. So we'll cash these in, we'll go check out the area past the overgrowth. I'll grab some food on the way in case we do run into a gordo. This isn't right! <laughs> okay. I don't know what I expected. At least I didn't have anything on me to lose. Might wake up to a mob of hungry, unruly slimes. Every everyone's okay, right? No one like busted out while I was gone. Oh yeah, upgrades. Tank booster. Um. Here, let's get the jetpack and the dash boots. Uh, and the tank booster. Whatever. I don't really need. I don't need slime books right now. I'm in a pretty good place financially with, with 41 slime books. Will you get in the gun? Jeez. Filled up. 
this the way? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Ow! So lots of rock slimes over this way. I don't really, I don't really want. To... Oh, is that where I have to go? How does the? Did I not get the jetpack? How does the jetpack work? Oh, there we go. I must not have had enough energy when I tried last. So, um, why are they bouncing off of you? I guess I was just aiming too high. Okay. Well, that seems like not gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> Wasting half of my hin hins. Whoa. Those like slime circles? Kinda like crop circles, except cute. Oh hey, here's a box. I'm gonna feed this guy to gigantic kitty gordo. Here's another damn it. More areas to open up. I don't even know where to start. Probably unlock the, uh, the indigo quarry first. Get over to where the red slimes are. Hmm. No! Why? Damn it. I might have to get up in his face next time I tried to feed him since I wasted about six chickens trying to feed him from that distance. Hey, I heard some flappy flaps. Is there flappy flaps up here? Because if there is, you're gonna be food. Oh, maybe it's those... What? I hear flappy flaps. Oh! Was it? Whatever. I don't, I don't even know. Okay, so that's one Gordo. And there's... I don't know if that's a Slime Key Gordo, though. Ah, oh, well. I'll look it up. Uh, we'll call it a little bit early this episode. We have been going about 25 minutes, but this one will cut off a couple minutes early. Does this go back to the ranch? No? Where the hell does this go then? Maybe I haven't activated it yet. Alright, whatever. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Slime Rancher. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode.